In this video, we'll be taking a stab at the new column for formatting that you can do in SharePoint online. And uh, this is going to be my first stab at it. So let's see how this goes. What I'd like to do is I'd like to change these uh, these status colors that you see in this list. Um, you know, if it's uh, done, it must be a specific color or if it's blocked or something like that. So what you can do in SharePoint Online now is that you can go to the specific column. So that would be the status column. So I'm going to go to the status column and in the status column, I can actually use um, a, a text format called JSON to uh, to change the way that the text or the column appears. So this is where you would do it, column formatting. So change the display of the column by adding JSON below. So I'm going to just bring uh, the blog across to the page and show you. Um, this is a, a post by um, Microsoft that um, where this was actually shared with us so around column formatting and how this works and the different types of things that you can do. So I actually used this specific blog to uh, to find um, the formatting that I could use to actually apply this. So if I go to this blog that it references in there, um, this takes me to this blog using column formatting to customize SharePoint. And there's quite a lot there that you can um, do with this. Now, um, at the bottom here, you'll see that to display fields, this specific one. So this is what I'd like to achieve. So conditional formatting based on the value in a text or choice field. Um, and they consider that as advanced. How's that for me trying that first? So all I did was I clicked on copy because I'm not a developer, remember? I hope I don't break my SharePoint site. <laughs> and I'm going to paste it right in there. There where it says... Uh, uh, add the JSON below. I'm going to say OK. And then let's go back to my list and see um, what it does with my list now. So let's refresh this list. Holy cow, that was easy. So let's just recap that. <laughs> Where's my plug? I'm actually surprised. <laughs> so uh, just to refer back to this. And this will be in the video, of course, to help you um, to find it. So you can just go and search for this. On, um, of course, this is on Docs. So use column formatting to customize SharePoint. This was uh, already published on the 19th of April um, of this year. So it's a couple of months ago already. And in here, they have a couple of examples that you can use. And one of those that I wanted to use was this specific one, where it changes the color um, for the different statuses. So I just used exactly the same. But of course, you can then start looking at these and say, hey, I actually want to change that or, um, you know, um, this is the text um, that I must use. It's not in review. It's in progress or et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's uh, that's how you can then manipulate the code to get this right. So I think that's pretty cool. That's going to be very, very nice um, to use that once we figure out. And there's lots of examples um, of this uh, JSON code that you can grab to apply some really cool formatting to your SharePoint list. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out in future. And if I can do it, I can promise you, so can you. But please use trusted resources when you do go and grab these are snippets from everywhere to use uh, as, uh, as JSON on your column formatting. Please uh, make sure that you don't just take it from anywhere because it might not do the right thing. So we'll chat soon. And I think in the next blog, I'm going to try this out again. I want to try something else. I'm going to do something about RAG status uh, for project updates, so uh, let's take a look at that. Chat soon.